Hey you guys, this is Diane with Real 3 High Priestess. This is going to be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Virgo, let's see, will he or she contact you? Spirit and angel guys are the most high. Catch my breath here. I'm almost out of breath just saying that. <clears throat> Virgo. Will he or she contact you right on the month of May? We're going to first see, Virgo, what's going on with you in the present moment, okay? Let's see. Here's the cards for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo in the present moment? Thank you. You have the will of the year here, which is the will of fortune. You have the King of Swords here. Mm. You're still in some energy where you're you're ready. I'm gonna shuffle one more time here, okay? You're in an energy right now, Virgo, where you are believing what you can see, what you can prove, <clears throat> what's logical. You're looking for truth so you can move on in your life here okay that's what i'm feeling with the wheel of the year and the king of swords okay you don't want to see things uh you don't want complications you don't want any guessing games you want to see it in black and white okay this is what it is at this moment presently okay you have the ten of wands here in reverse so definitely you have gone through it Okay, you're ready for some relief in your life. You're ready for the next chapter to start, for, the, for one cycle to end and a new one to come in for you. You're ready um, to get rid of distraction, okay? And you're ready for completion. And I see it coming in here. It's very strong, all right? Let's take a look at what's happening presently with your lover here. Spirit and energy guys are the most high. It's going to be cards for Virgo's lover. What is presently going on with Virgo's lover? I keep wanting to call you Taurus for some reason. I feel it trying to come out too. What is going on with Virgo's lover? page of wands here for your lover okay you have the ten of pentacles here in reverse some news is coming in toward um towards this lover okay might be coming from you here okay and the moon card here in reverse as well okay there's some type of deception going on with this lover currently okay or they're in fear of losing something okay I'm saying losing something or losing someone with the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse is directly connect to their relationship. Okay, or some type of um, family issues here, family troubles. That's what I'm feeling. But I feel like they're waiting for a message to come in. They're waiting to hear some news about some something why is the page of wands here what is going on with this lover presently the six of wands here mm. the strange they're waiting for a message to come in 
but they're hoping for this mes message to be good, okay? Um, I feel like they want to improve financial matters, okay, between you and it's something in their life, okay? Something in their life, actually, that they want to improve here. And they're ready to get rid of deception, some confusion or anxiety in regards to money here, okay? They're, re they're ready. They're either waiting for news on relocating or traveling or... That's what I'm feeling. Something about relocating to a new home as well. Let's go ahead and see what the desires are for you, Virgo. <clears throat> Spirit and angel guys are the most the cards for Virgo. Please tell me what are Virgo's desires for May 2019. Oh, you got the nine of wands here in reverse. You're unprepared for something. Ooh. Okay. I feel like you're unprepared for something. It may be some trouble that you're in that you're trying to get out of. You're trying to move out of some difficult situation here that's bringing you fear i feel like it's bringing you fear and whoever you're dealing with here okay it's got you pent up like somebody has got you um fucked up that's what i'm feeling here virgo i feel like they're trying to get over on you whoever this is this five of swords it's like somebody that is trying to take something from you here you're ready for this cycle to end here that's what's going on with you yeah it's stopping your progress it's slowing down your progress in your life with the three of wands it's not allowing you to carry on and make plans for yourself um long-term plans it's got you stuck right now okay um, this is your feeling like you're wasting your damn time on something here. Okay? And I feel like you're ready to move on from it. Let's take a look at your lover's um, desires here. Spirit and angel guys are the most high. Please give me the cards for Virgo's lover. What is Virgo's lover desire? May 2019. Time. What is Virgo's lover's desires? Thank you. Oh, shit. Hmm. You have the Queen of Cups here in reverse. Okay. I never did like the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? This is someone that is like not real, that doesn't think about things logically, maybe sucking the life out of you, okay? You have the Five of Cups here. This lover uh, or this person, whoever you're dealing with, they're sad. I feel like they have the desire to get out of this negative energy. Something has got them messed up too their desire okay the six of wands is here in reverse okay they feel betrayed and like whatever's happening in their life is causing them is causing delays and they feel like they're under pressure that's what i'm feeling i feel like they want to move Whoosh. I wasn't trying to get another car for them. But this popped out for your lover here. I feel like some truth is going to come out about how they feel, okay, about their desires and what they want 
to change. I feel like there's a lot of unhappiness going on. Okay, let's try to clear this energy out. They're feeling like they're not secure. Okay, look at y'all falling. Whoever that is you're dealing with. Or this is if the if you're single or you're thinking about somebody, they're going through something right now. That's what this is saying. They're sad. <sighs> I feel like they want change. They want victory in a situation. Okay, but they're feeling um abandoned. Okay, at some level here. And there is some issues going on in their life with their family or significant other. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? So, let's see what advice is coming in for you guys, okay? Anyway, you guys are the most high. Please give me a card. For Virgo, one card for Virgo. What advice do you have for Virgo, May 2019? It says slow, simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring you happiness and bring happiness to those around you. Okay. Actually, going to bring out the second one. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. Okay. I'll repeat that again. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. Okay. Here's your advice here. Let me take out a card for your love interest. Is it advice for, um, uh, for them? You have love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Was this, it okay? This is important because I feel like with the tower card rolling in here, there is some significant changes that's gonna be going on with this lover, okay? So I feel like they're gonna go through a period where they have to learn how to release these uh past hurts all right something that they're hap uh, that's happening to them okay um they don't feel secure that's what i'm feeling there's a yeah there is a sense of insecurity and fear here from the beginning so let's see what your challenges are all right Spirit and angel guys are the most. What challenges are Virgo facing May? to go inside yourself you need to connect with your inner self that's what you're being told that you're not listening to your higher self or you can't see because there's two you can't connect to your higher self your higher conscious that's what i'm trying to say here with this hermit card here there's too much going on there's too much confusion as well And that is why this is in the challenging um, position for you here, Virgo. You have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Feeling fair about some financial situation. There's an imbalance in bringing... Um, there's an imbalance when it comes to give and take okay work money um what's going on in your daily life or giving to some person or partner 
or you feeling like you're being taken advantage of okay especially with the ace of pentacles here in reverse this is what your obstacle or challenge is you're having financial worries right now you're being asked to try to go inside and listen to your own advice on how to improve this situation or change make changes to your situation so that you can start seeing progress so you can start seeing things move in your life okay with the will of fortune that's gonna start start happening here i believe um with that major arcana energy there this is something that's going to happen i'm going to take a look at your lovers challenges and Andrew, guys, on the most high, please give me the cards for Virgo's lover. What challenges are Virgo's lover facing? Challenges of Virgo's lover facing. might be going through some type of separation here this uh, lover may be going through some type of separation i feel the justice card there okay they're also looking for fairness and shoot it's a lack of communication a lack of movement that's because the tower card is here. Something is ending for them, okay? One more card for Virgo's lover. Yeah. I feel like their self-confidence and the way that they feel about themselves may be shaken as well, okay? With the nine of pentacles here in reverse, they may be feeling some sense of complacency, like they can't move, not can't move, like they are not going to move, okay? Um, but that's is this is gonna happen whether they like it or not or not. Some truth is gonna come in with this tower card and it's going to demand some change. And I feel like that's what their challenge their challenge is bringing in change for themselves, okay? And balance into their life okay and fairness that is their challenge let's take a look at the likely outcome for you both okay spirit and angel guys of the most high what is the likely outcome of this person contacting Taurus? um i was gonna see taurus damn it <laughs> virgo ah! i told you it's gonna try to slip out What is the possible outcome of this person contacting Virgo? One more time, you guys. You have the star card here in reverse, okay? So you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, but I feel like there's a delay. You got the king of swords here. You have the king of swords here, okay, as well. I feel like them contacting you Virgo or someone trying to contact you is going to be difficult for them at this time okay I feel like their self-esteem is shaken um, and they're not feeling themselves with this nine of Pentacles here okay uh, they may be in the energy of cutting people out yeah ace of pentacles here in reverse they're having a really hard time and i feel like there is a lot of worry um surrounding them with their mind their money their 
well-being okay how they feel about themselves as well let's bring out one more card page of swords yeah that i feel like they will it'll be very difficult to try to talk to this person or thinking um or getting them to contact you okay with the page of swords here all right it may be a message that You don't want to hear they may turn your if you try to contact them they may turn you down here okay because of what's going on in their life that's a message okay that some is something that you don't want to hear that was the last one let's go ahead and get one more message for you for you guys okay please give me one more message for Virgo. May 2019. Thank you. <laughs> what does this always come out? Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Yes, you need to do that. Okay. With the will of the year coming in here, divine intervention. So, um, yeah, you have divine intervention coming in here. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers and i do feel like things are being worked out in the background uh for you here you have life lessons you can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessings they um they contain okay you have to also listen to the messages that are coming in to make that change all right so you can make have some progress in your life here Virgo, I swear to God, I was about to call y'all Taurus again. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video for me. Um, give me a thumbs up on this video. Let me know how you guys liked it. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Okay. Love you. Take care of yourself. Bye.